Hey everyone, it's me Elias. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today we're going to talk about approvals from a SharePoint list. When you create a new item or update an item and that will then trigger an approval workflow that your manager or your boss is going to approve and that will then update your SharePoint list back to a new status maybe called approved. Stay tuned, give it a thumbs up if you like the video, make sure that you subscribe and uh, have fun. So we're back in our well-known milestone tracker where we track our milestones and the milestones that are completed will be let's imagine ready for billing yeah, to send to the customer so we completed one milestone worth three thousand five hundred dollars as it says here the number one and we want to build that to the customer but you as a project manager do not decide if that's ready to build or not you just tell your uh, management that the milestone has been completed and then the management and the finance team will then go on and make sure that that's done, uh, make sure that the billing is uh, put together correctly and then send it out to the customer. So we are going to build an approval process to do exactly that. For that, we will need three columns and I'm going to explain why. We will add a choice column when we will name this ready for billing. Put two choices, yes and no. And by default, we will keep it at no. So when a new milestone is created, it should always say no. Save that. Then we need another column, also choice. And this will have the milestone status in it or approval steps, not master steps. So this will have three choices. It will be pending, approved, and declined. Because if the management says it's not ready to be built, it's not ready to be built, right? And for default, we will have pending because it's either approved or declined when the new program milestone is uh, created. So let's keep it on pending. Save that. And now this is an important step. We need a third column. The third column would be also a choice for yes or no, and it will be used for an error or better, better said, uh, it will be used to overcome an error that Power Automate might have later on. We will see that. So we will create a new choice column named updated by flow. Put here yes, no. We can hide this column later on, so it's, it's uh, not a problem. So we put now default to no and save it. The reason we created this column is because when you run the work the, the flow, it will look if the ready for billing was set to yes. And then it will update the item where the approval status will be set to um, approved. And what will happen next is that the flow will be triggered again because the billing status Although the approval status is set to approved, is set to yes. So that will trigger the flow again. And then we come into a, an infinite loop. So to overcome that, we create a third column, which we can hide later on, and say if it's updated by flow or yes or no. As long as, as that is no, it will trigger the flow. But if it says yes, it will not trigger the flow anymore because it has been updated by the flow. It doesn't need to be. Huh? So that, that's how we overcome the loop. Okay, so now we jump to Power Automate and create our flow. So 
we will create a new automated cloud flow. Let's name it approval workflow. And we're going to use when an item is created or modified, because as we learned on previous videos, if you use when an item is created, the flow can only be triggered when an item is created. But we want to have it to update the item. That's why it should go on and look into that uh, item again and again. So let's update it as well. Select our site and list. So we will start with the condition if the item was updated by the flow or not. So we have condition and then we will say updated by flow value because the choice is equal to yes. And if that's true, it will do nothing. That's why we will put nothing here. But if that's not true, if it says everything else except of yes, then we'll go down this route. And here we will build in the next condition. And now we will check if the column ready for building is set to yes or no. Again, the value is equal to yes. And if that's true, we want to trigger the approval. Search for approval. And then we will use start and wait for an approval. The approval type would be first respond. I think this is the best way since if you have multiple approvers, it doesn't matter who approved, right? Uh, you just want an approval. And um, in this case, we only have me, so it doesn't matter, but uh, we can build it in anyways. So the title will be, we'll, we'll, we'll try to make it a little bit informative. Um, milestone and then milestone name is waiting for approval. It will be assigned to myself um, here. Yes. Details, you can put details in there. Um, the item to a link is helpful, so that I don't have to search for that name. You can just go into the, the SharePoint list via a link. So we will search for link to an item. So I noticed that the image was a little bit small, so I zoomed in a little bit more. Sorry about that. And uh, next we are done. The requester, yeah, you can put the requester there, which is modified by email. So this will populate my name if I was the one requesting the approval. So we started the approval process. Next, we will receive the email for because we are the assigned to for the approval process. And then after replying to the email, based on the reply, we want to take an action. And the action will be another condition looking for the approval status. So here we will have to search for outcome. Outcome is the outcome of the approval. So what, what did the approver reply to the request? So the outcome, outcome is equal to approve, not approved, approve. Then we want to send an email. to the person who requested the approval. So modified by email. The subject will say your building request was 
approved. You can copy that as well in the body. And then add, please proceed with the next steps. PMO automation. Make the loop prettier. So, and what happens after the notification is that we want the item updated in our SharePoint list to say approved. So we'll search for update an item. And then we go back to our SharePoint site and to our SharePoint list and use the ID of that item to update it. And we also don't want to change anything here, except of the ready for building will be then yes. And the approval status will be set to approved. And this has also to change because if we leave it to no, then we are back in the loop. So this has to change. On the other side, if the approval request was declined, we want to send again a notification. to the same person that was modified by, but the email address, let's paste that was client and say the same in the body, please proceed with the next steps. I don't know, you can say whatever you want there. PMO automation. And next will be updating the item. Because we want the item in our SharePoint list to say declined. Not only the project manager will receive an email saying that the milestone was declined, but he also wants to keep up in the list how the milestones are going. So update item. Again, to our SharePoint site and SharePoint list and use the ID of that item. So now we want to make ready for billing no, since it was a client. It will, we want to put it to client and update by flow value to no. So that when he changes that back, the flow will be triggered. Next time, maybe he wants to try the approval process again in, in a week or a couple of days. He will then put the ready for building to yes, and that will trigger the flow again. If, if he was about to put this to yes, and the updated by flow value was saying yes as well, then the flow would, wouldn't work, right? Because it will go uh, down this route where it does nothing. So let's save this. The flow checker will say that we might come into a loop, but uh, that's why we built in this condition here. So let's go back to our milestone tracker and change one of the milestones. First, let's make sure that this is on test mode, manually test. Okay, so the flow is now waiting for us to take an action. Let's jump back to our milestone tracker and change one of the milestones. Click on edit. And now we want to change the ready for building to yes. Let's save it. And jump to our flow. We should receive an email by now. Still running. That's the sound. So this is the approval request I just received. It says the milestone name and then my name as a requester. 
and here I can approve or reject directly in my email. So while I'm there, the automation is waiting for my approval. So let's approve this. You can also add a comment and you can also have the comment copied in your SharePoint list if, if you need that. But for that, you will have to add a, a text, multi-line text column in your SharePoint list. Let's click on Submit. Go to our flow back. This should turn to green. It looks like it ran down this route. The expression was true. And the condition was also true because it was approved. And it looks like it has updated our item as well. Let's go to our SharePoint list and take a look. And as you can see, it's set to approved. So this update by flow now it says yes, we, we know why. And if you don't want to see that, you can just click on the drop down next to the name of the column, column settings, and click on hide this column. So now it's not visible, but it's still doing what it should. So now that the status has changed to approved, we also want to take a look at the email that the requester, which is again me, uh, received after the, 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 the milestone was approved. So we can jump back to our email account and we can see here that your billing request was approved. Please proceed with the next steps. So the second notification is also working or maybe not the second, it's the first for this guy and the first one was for the manager. Uh, it's, uh, everything is working. So we are uh, good to go and we have an approval process set up. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give it a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and catch you in the next one.